light of recent animal cruelty case out of City Park, where a dog was beaten and burned over a campfire, animal advocates are stressing the importance of humane education and how to be compassionate not only to animals, but to people. As WDSU anchor Randy Russo tells us, there are programs already at the Louisiana SPCA to instill those values in young people early on. Well, if you're looking for a great program to get your child involved to, especially since we're about to embark on the summer, why not take part on the uh, human educational courses over at the Louisiana SBCA? Joining us this morning, we've got Alicia Hayfley and also Jean Michel. And Alicia, we have these programs pretty much all year, but you know, over the summer, a lot of kids really get involved. We do. So our human education programs, they are all focused around our community's youth. So we want to reach them at a young age, educate them about being compassionate and kind and respectful to animals. And we do that through a variety of programs that we offer throughout the year. One of the biggest ones and most popular ones is our summer camps. And Jean actually participated in our summer camps back in 2004, mm -hmm. and it <laughs> stuck with her her whole life. So she's a great example about how, you know, getting involved with animals, participating in our youth programs can stick with you and affect you know the kind of the course of your your career essentially and we should say congratulations to Jean too because she just got accepted <laughs> to the LSU veterinarian uh, school over there but tell us a little bit about the camp what did you learn and why did it kind of help you on your career path later on yeah so you learn a very big variety of skills um, veterinary medicine is a small part of it but also animal handling communication and just how to interact with animals in general um, so that led on to working in different shelters and clinics and now going to vet school. Did you have a love of animals beforehand? I did, yeah. but I didn't really... It, like I was never exposed to veterinary medicine per se, but that the SPCA really got me used to everything and um, put me on the path of of this. And it's so important, especially you know nowadays, we hear so many cases of animal abuse and things like that, to teach our children these les lessons of of compassion so early on. And what better way to do that than with animals, right, Alicia? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, outside of just summer camps, you know, clearly that's during our summertime. But even during the school year, we partner with a lot of schools in the greater New Orleans area to have them either come to the shelter for after school programs, do shelter tours, we'll go to the schools and give presentations, they do hands-on activities, we offer birthday parties for kids. I mean, there's really so much that kids in our community can get involved with through our organization, whether it's from at home or from school, that there's really, there's so many opportunities and it's a great way to teach them that, you know, being compassionate to animals is such an important thing, especially here in our community where we have so many animals. And it's just something that will stick with them through their life and just make them a better person all around. And if you're looking for an animal to, you know, maybe incorporate into your own house, you all have a great cat right now that y'all are looking for a great home. We do. And we normally, we like to bring our adoptables to show on, uh, you know, to show on TV. But this kitten, she's so sweet. And I shouldn't say kitten. She's six <laughs> years old, so she's a cat. But she's so sweet. But she's a little timid. So we figured the station might be a little overwhelming for her. But her name is Winter, her adopt, um, her foster family loves Game of Thrones, so her name is Winter, and she's six years old. She's a domestic short hair. She's a tad overweight, otherwise she is healthy, so she's on a diet to fix that. But she's very sweet. Her foster mom feed, uh, reads to her every night, and she'll just curl up in her lap and read a book. So she's very sweet, and she is looking for a wonderful home. You can see on our website. And the foster family, they're so in love with her that they're willing to pay the adoption fees of all that too. So if you're interested in adopting Winter, if you want to learn more about the summer programs available at the Louisiana SBCA. You can visit their website or call the number right there on your screen. So, Jean and Alicia, thank you guys so much for joining us. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you.